Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And Chiang Mai is maybe the capital of night markets in the entire world. And so it is a Sunday night. I am at Talat. This is one of the biggest and the busiest night markets in Chiang Mai. It runs the entire length of Ratchadam Nun Road, uh, which is right in the center, the heart of Chiang Mai. And so this evening we're gonna go on a food tour of the night market in Chiang Mai. Uh, we're just gonna see what we find. We're gonna eat some delicious food and I'm gonna share it all with you in this video right now. This particular market is open every Sunday and it starts at 5 p.m. It's right now, it's yeah, it's exactly 5 p.m. So they're just open up. Most of the vendors are here, but still sort of organizing, setting things up. Uh, there's a mix of almost everything at this market from souvenirs and clothes, trinkets and lanterns and lights. Uh, but mainly I'm here to just sample the food and we're gonna see what we can find um, and try to eat some of the uh, mix of things. And I'm still waiting for my friends Tom and Joel who are gonna come also hang out tonight uh, but we got here a little bit before they did I wanted to get here right as they open the market opens that I could get all the shots uh, but they should be joining me soon anytime I see a cart that's loaded with this much meat and this in this particular instance sausage there's no way you can walk past it without ordering a few skewers and it is just smoking away you can see her the, the fan is blowing the sausage under there the the fat is just burning down it's just smoking away it smells so good uh, most of what's hanging on the on the, the bar is saikok isan which is a it's an isan style sausage but then she also has some of the northern sausage which is called Sai Ua, uh, in two different shapes. And so I got one of the, one skewer of the Isan sausage, as well as the Northern Thai sausage. We'll just taste them both to, to taste the difference. Okay, this is the Sai Kok Isan. Oh. oh, wow. Okay, that is a big bite. It's so good though, just bursting with fatty juices. And for Sai Kok Isan, you have to chase it with a chili because that's just pure meat as opposed to what we'll see in the next bite of the Sai Ua. So I got a chili. Oh, yeah. That completes the experience. It's so good. It's so juicy. Wow, that's tasty. And then as opposed to the Sai Kok Isan, which is there's no spices within the sausage itself, but you eat spices, you chase with spices, like the chili. Uh, this one is the Sai Ua, which is also, which is filled with spices already within the ground meat mixture. So there's lemongrass in here. There should be chilies. Here's our little, Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh. It's like, oh, it's so good. You can the lemongrass. This one is quite a fatty mix, but it is juicy. Well, there's no better way I could think of to start this night market food tour in Chiang Mai. Mmm. Have a Now the market is still pretty quiet. Well, very quiet compared to what it's gonna be right now. You still have lots of space to move around uh, yes still the vendors are still setting up but I do I can guarantee in a couple of hours especially when the Sun is fully down the market will be packed so it is good to come early uh, if you are weary of just single file crowds We ended up walking all the way across to the other side of the market actually we started on the kind of like the the end of the market, but this is actually the front at uh, Pratu Ta Pe. So this is the, the front gate here. Uh, so this is where you normally come into the market and it's just now almost 6 p.m. and it's just starting to get really busy. The hard thing about this market is it's so huge and so sprawling and it goes down so many little side alleys and into little temple courtyards and so within lots of little temple courtyards there are little food courts just an everlasting supply of Thai snacks um, and so we saw the giant pan of bubbling buoyant pork balls in Thai they're called uh, Lukshin Mu and she informed us that they are 100% pork so it's just pork that's been uh, like very ground very smoothly and made into little balls they boil um, you can just see them all just like buoyantly floating around in the walk in the water uh, and then she scoops them out she serves them to you fresh over some lettuce she put he puts on a little bit of 
toasted garlic and some of the, the sauce, which I think should be a little bit sweet. That looks really good. We gotta try a hot, fresh pork ball. Mmm. Mmm. It's so soft and tender, yet not mushy. Um, very kind of neutral tasting and just, I got a piece of Chinese celery on that bite. And also the sauce, which is a little bit sour, a tinge sweet, and a tinge spicy. Mm, but you can taste the quality, the freshness of them. You can tell that's just pure, pure pork. That's luscious. It's very mild in flavor, but you can taste just a hint of black pepper. Maybe even white pepper. Oh, there they are. What's up, Peacock? Moo Yaw. What's up, Tom? What's up? What's up, JJ? That's so good. You know what? Have to try. Warm and sour. The last one. Sour? Sour and spicy. Moo Yaw. I've already had some Luk Shin and some Sai Krok. Moo Yaw Nu. Thank you. Oh, I'd love some Sai Wu. It's like a Vietnamese sausage. Cool, right? They, they oh. really take care a lot about people around them. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I'm just joking. Okay, no, okay. That, that is uh, ironical. Um, isn't it kind of like that German... Um, yeah, it's like um, Leverkus. Leverkus. Yeah, yeah. Leverkus, yes, that's it. what it is. It's, mm -hmm. it's like the Thai version of German Leverkus. Yep. But spicy. And it has a little bit of a pepper, black pepper dish. Yeah. But Sour, like so vinegar, spicy. Yeah. Kind of just like the, the pork ball that I just ate, just in flat. Like, like, um, square form. Yeah, so a deep hub. I need to try for a hit. Oh my god, some, 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 something that you have to eat, especially at this market, is called kai bam. And it is, uh, it's a grilled egg. It's like a, it's like an omelet. It's like a trough of egg that they put into, they fill up into a banana leaf little trough boat and then they grill it. Um, they have a few different toppings. One of them is mushrooms. One of them is, uh, I'm not even sure, of a bunch of different imitation crab. Uh, but then it slow grills as she kind of stirs it with a stick. Um, and so that's kind of like a, a, a new form of an omelet that you should eat at this market. We're gonna sample it. It's kind of <laughs> stuck into the trough. Mm. Oh, it's like a juicy omelet. It's very juicy, but I mean, apart from a different any other omelet, it does actually have the flavor of the the banana leaf, the bai tong. Oh, totally. The roasted banana leaf just embeds into the omelet. Other than that, it's just like a juicier omelet. Yeah. yeah. It's actually pretty good. How's that egg? Tom? Mm, pretty good. Pretty good. I got the one with a with a bee. Oh, the bee hive. Yeah. Uh, Larv. Larva. Yeah. It's pretty good actually. A larva. It doesn't taste like bee though. No honey taste, but very eggy. This is another version with a different topping that we got, which is bee larva. Mm. Oh yeah. The larva is very creamy. Mm. Mm. The egg was interesting and pretty good. We're moving on and now the market is just getting packed. Uh, but we're on our way to eat more food. Joel just got a passion fruit shake. This is just pure passion fruit blended with ice. Oh. Well, that's just like perfectly tart, nice and sour. Just a tinge of sweetness and you've got the crunch of those seeds. Thanks, man. So long. Yeah, that's the, that's just pure and good. Yeah, look at all those seeds. <laughs> It's so packed, yeah. Especially at this time, it's just like single pile. Yeah. They're just in a line going through the market. Hi, la hao ko pi, look at this. Very traditional. It's nature oil from... Kind of stuck together. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Get some air intake, some air intake. <laughs> yeah, so it must be thick then if it's whole tea like that. 
And it is uh, black sticky rice or purple sticky rice, which is made into a little pancake, and then she sizzles it over the hot griddle. Uh, she adds on a variety of toppings, including sesame and sugar. It looks almost exactly the same as a piece of beef jerky. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. It's really gooey and glutinous, but at the same time, it's crispy because how it's been fried. It's sweet. You taste the sesame seed. Mm. Yeah, that's fantastic, actually. It's really good. So we're off to just explore more and to, to get some more food. Anything smelling the, the barbecue over there? Oh, nice. I'm sure there's some hot. This will be perfect. At the back of the temple food court area, there is a man who is making ribs and they smell so good. Oh, he's chopping them right now. Okay, sit down. Same, same. Uh, you choose it. Huh? Like him. They have a few seats, they have a few tables in the back um, with a few stalls that you can order from. I gotta try those ribs first and dip that rib into the, the dry chili flakes. <laughs> Those are pretty fatty, oily, delicious. You can taste the, the dark soy sauce, which you kind of caramelized onto there, so kind of like roasted and caramelized. Oh, and that chili though, that's kind of like a salty, uh, dry chili powder. That's, yeah, that's great. Upon tasting one, he immediately ordered seconds. <laughs> oh, Tom did? Yes. <laughs> It looks a lot like Sankaya, but these are these are little crab heads as you can see oh they're nice and hot right off the the grill or something uh, but it's the the crab eggs made into like a it looks it looks kind of like custardy so you grab some sticky rice and then you you just kind of dip it like a dip oh, oh. So <laughs> looks like uni too like oh. sea urchin so butter mm. Mm. yeah that's like that for sure it's like crab egg custard. Mm. You've got the crabby taste. You've got the smoky taste because it's been grilled. And then it's kind of like creamy and rich. Mm. Yeah, look at that gooiness. Mm. <laughs> that is rich and delicious. Mm. Yeah, it's still warm. Time for another rib. Gotta get that. Yeah. Let's do the that mala. Let's wipe up. <laughs> wipe it up. Yeah, really like the the chili, the dry, the chili dry rub really, really adds to it. Cheers. Oh man, Cheers, I need to get more chili. <laughs> I got a full, I got a full crust. Oh, that's beautiful. That's what you want. Okay, that's better. They add sugar to them. Cheers. It's either sugar or MSG or both. Yeah, I think it is sugar. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> One buyer? Mm. One buyer. Mm. The, only, the only thing, the only reason you can't do a one buyer is because you gotta keep on twirling it. All right, get all the meat off the bone. Roll, roll, roll. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is like very tasty very fatty, juicy, greasy. I think there's a little sugar in the chili powder. Though. Yeah, it is. has a sweet tinge to it. It's 
200. 130 for one chunk, I guess we may just... She gives I'll get us it. discount. I think this I'll is the best piece. Dude, two little, two little loaves here. So we finished with that meal, but the market is just packed and it's hectic and you're just like running back and forth from place to place. So we're gonna call it a night of this food tour market, night market in Chiang Mai. But before we end the tour though, there was something that we had to, to eat. Uh, of course, as the best dessert in the world. It's a little overpriced because of the night market, uh, but that's okay, we just, we, we need some. <laughs> Got a little gooey goodness here. All right, guys, let's break bread together. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, already creaming on the <laughs> on the saran, on the saran wrap. wrap here. Okay, well I got a little residue on the saran. <laughs> okay, go go for the dude. That is a oh. fistful of durian right there. Oh, oh. oh. Cheers. Oh, cheers. 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 cheers, cheers, yeah. Oh. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. Mm. It was like tough on the hard on the outside, but it's really creamy on the inside. Yeah, very sweet too. Mm. Just starting to gain that that um, complexion of bitterness. Just a hint of it. Butter, cream, custard. Slight alcohol taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's very ripe. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's so much cream. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Who, who dropped a piece? You. Me? Oh yeah. no. Oh. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Like, if you ever do a food tour anywhere, there's no better way to finish a food tour yeah. than with natural cream, natural custard. Any kind of tour. Thumb you should always durian. finish with durian. Man, that's good. Okay, and now we can call it a night. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and end this Chiang Mai night market food tour right here. Uh, it's mostly kind of snacking food, so you can walk around. I'm, I'm still a little bit hungry, but like it's 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 so packed that I'm ready to head out and Micah needs to go to sleep. Uh, but it's mostly a lot of snacking foods. The food is okay. Um, it's not like the greatest food in my opinion, but it is fun to walk around. It's a great environment. It is packed. Uh, but that also makes it entertaining and it's definitely a, a great place to visit when you are in Chiang Mai. Huge thank you to Tom and JJ and Joel for joining me, me and Ying and Micah on this food tour today. And I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Chiang Mai. See you on the next video.